the dominoes are beginning to fall in the NFL as we gear up for the free agency period that begins next week. There are players being traded and franchise tags being applied, and the Miami Dolphins find themselves right in the thick of things. But the biggest news of the early week is surrounding the quarterbacks, particularly Aaron Rodgers and Russell Wilson. The latter was traded to the Denver Broncos on Tuesday, soon after it was announced that the former would be returning to the Packers. The Seahawks trading the most successful player in franchise history is big news, and could be a step in the direction of a full-on rebuild for Seattle. If this is the case, then they will have plenty of talent up and down the roster to dangle for other teams in exchange for future draft capital. Seattle still has explosive wide receivers on offense, and guys who have game-changing ability on the defensive side of the ball, and the telephone on the desk in their front office will certainly be ringing with offers this spring. The Dolphins should be one of the teams that comes calling. They have an average amount of draft capital this year to throw the Seahawks' way, but also possess an extra first-rounder in 2023 that could be of high value to a team that needs young players. Miami will of course be big players in free agency given the amount of money that they have plus the salary cap increase, but don't be surprised to see them actively working the phones with other general manager around the league in order to add talent. So which guys should the Dolphins be calling the Seahawks about? Here are three players that might fit what Miami is trying to do in 2022. Carlos Dunlap. This could be the option that makes the most sense, especially given the unknown future of Emmanuel Ogba. Carlos Dunlap is a two-time Pro Bowl defensive end who spent the first 10 years of his career in Cincinnati before finding a place in Seattle for 2020 and 2021. While he may be a step slower than he was in his 20s, Dunlap is still a formidable force in getting to the quarterback, as he was able to notch 8.5 sacks while hitting the quarterback 14 times. All of this was done while he played just 38% of snaps. Given his advanced age, acquiring Dunlap would not be seen as a move for the future. He would likely be a band-aid until the team is able to find a young replacement for Ogba. But Dunlap wouldn't come without his risks. He only has one year left on his contract, and has a $4.2 million dead cap number in 2023, giving the possibility of him becoming a cap casualty. The structure of the contract and his age would make this a difficult trade for the Dolphins to pull off. They probably wouldn't be willing to give up anything more than a day three draft pick, and even that might be a stretch. Damian Lewis. Much like the Dolphins, one of the biggest issues for the Seahawks in 2021 was the play of their offensive line. Seattle will look to revamp the position and develop a new wall up front, and they'll be able to do so, given that three of their starters are free agents. One of the few bright spots on the Seahawks' front line was second-year pro Damian Lewis. He has quickly developed into one of the best run-blocking guards in the league, being ranked second in the entire league in his run-blocking score by Pro Football Focus. But would the Seahawks want to get rid of him? They are certainly going to be entering something of a rebuild, but Lewis is the type of piece that a young team could potentially build around. He is on a very inexpensive contract that has two more seasons on it, and he will undoubtedly outplay his pay rate if he continues his upward progression. It doesn't sound like the kind of guy that Seattle would want to get rid of, so the price would likely be very steep should the Dolphins come calling. It would be akin to Miami shopping a better version of Robert Hunt right now. You wouldn't go for that, would you? DK Metcalf. This is certainly the most popular of the given options. Even before the Wilson trade, there was plenty of chatter amongst Dolphins fans about the possibility of bringing in DK Metcalf to pair with Jalen Waddell. Metcalf had something of a down year in 2021 along with the rest of the Seahawks. Despite playing in all 17 games and seeing the exact same amount of targets as he did the season prior, he came up nearly 400 yards short of the 1,300 he amassed in 2020. His catch percentage dropped from 64% down to 58 though he saw an increase in touchdown catches and finished with 12. If Metcalf is to be made available, there will certainly be a bidding war for his services. He is one of the elite athletes in the entire league and has shown that he can be a dominant force downfield, and he would fit seamlessly into plenty of offenses around the league. The Miami Dolphins could dangle their 29th overall pick and gauge the Seahawks' interest, but there would probably be teams calling with higher picks or better offers. How much would Miami be willing to give up for the explosive wide receiver?